Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Hurricane's entourage has that look on their face. They know they've put the work in, and you can see how confident they are for the battle that lies ahead. These ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars, but yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Thirty-six minutes still ahead of them here, round one of twelve. Side to side. Didn't get it done going to the body there. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Finish with a hook. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Use the ring! Use the ring! And he's holding. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Parries that punch intended for the head. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Able to cover up that gut. Little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Well played, straight right hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Final 10 seconds. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. This round comes to an end 
And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. He needs to shorten him up. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw... Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Hey, 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 let's go. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Hurricane. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Wow, nice flush left hand. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Now he ties up there. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. A well-placed overhand right. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him, a guy that's going to move a little bit, start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Solid. He got smashed that time. Now we're going to find out how strong a guy he is. Not physically, mentally. Can he get up? So he was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after him. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is, as you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. Hurricane's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Now hugging on the inside. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's effort. Right, relax, relax, relax. You just you gotta relax. You gotta move out there. All right, move, move, move. Okay, keep moving. Breathe now, breathe. You good? We can recoup from that. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. You go. Keep boxing. Right. Smart. In and out, side to side. You understand? Start of a new round, and it seems like a whole new man. Hard to believe that this is the fighter that was just knocked down in the last round. Well, he's got some of those great recovery skills, kind of like Arturo Gatti used to always have. You know, he was a guy that he could be batted, he could look like he was barely hanging on, and then all of a sudden, the next round, he looked good at go. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. And now he's targeting upstairs. Boy, unable to get away from those punches. Nice work. 
an issue there, didn't land that straight right hand. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. Right to the head with that right. Nice, nice. Targeting the uppercut, and it, that was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. That's what I want to see. And a well-placed counter by Hurricane. Not able to land the headshot. Double up your punches. I think the lesson to be learned here is it's a marathon, not a sprint. He has treated this fight like it's a sprint early on here. Yeah, and the tortoise is starting to pass him right by, waving at him, saying, ha. Ah. Blocked by Hurricane. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab bumping, then throw the lead right hand. We got it. You're winning this fight. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around and... So three rounds are in the books here. Hurricanes up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Punch stats don't always tell the story, but in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off him, just to keep him defensive. Does that hurt him as the fight goes on? Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Block there. Now he's telling us everything you need to know about what his condition is. We saw him stunned earlier in this fight. Now the clinching. Yeah, this is a true polygraph test for a fighter. He and bang and away he goes. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turns it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Shake it off, that's ball. And yet another big shot comes in. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. The 
this fight is over. Hurricanes, a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Teddy, there's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout out of left field a product of one guy being prepared and the other guy just not ready for it? No, obviously he wasn't ready, wasn't prepared in the gym, but I think he came out cold from the locker room, never knew what hit him. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.